Amid the milkfish or scientifically known as Chanos Chanos, a herbivorous fish native to the Indian and Pacific Oceans and familiar to the people living in tropical region. Milkfish are commonly found near the coastal areas with clear, shallow and warm water where reefs are well developed. Occasionally, they could be spotted in freshwater stream too. Physically, milkfish has a compressed, silvery-colored, elongated body, distinct huge eyes, toothless jaw with pointed snout and terminal mouth. Their forked tail are fairly large as they are fast swimmer in open ocean. Milkfish begin their life cycle in the ocean where the adults will spawn near the reef. Once the larvae hatch, they will become pelagic and stay around 20 to 30 meters of water depth. When reaching post larva stage, they will migrate towards the onshore area and settle near the mangrove or wetlands. During the juvenile and subadult stage, milkfish will move towards the ocean where they will mature sexually. Temperature of more than 23 degrees and 10 to 32 part per thousand salinity are the optimum water parameters for them to spawn naturally. They have no teeth and generally feed on algae and invertebrates, making them a great species for commercial culture. Milkfish have been farmed in Asia for centuries. Historically, Indonesia, China, Taiwan and the Philippines have been culturing milkfish since 4 to 6 centuries ago. The most important producers today are Indonesia and Philippines, which combine to produce almost 95% of global milkfish production. In captivity, adult milkfish will achieve sexual maturation after 5 years. Eggs can be produced through natural or artificial spawning. Traditionally, milkfish industry depends heavily on wild caught fry. Success stories of milkfish larva rearing began in Sivdak, Philippines during 1976 to 1978 when they gained positive results of spawning induction for the first generation of milkfish in captivity. Until today, more developments in terms of culture system have been introduced to the farmers to enhance the milkfish production. However, there are certain issues that hinder the market values of these species. One of them is the fact that milkfish are considered bony fish. Unfortunately, younger generations tend to avoid eating milkfish due to their bony flesh, hence reduce the marketing value. To date, Philippines has taken the measurement in producing boneless milkfish to capture their local market. It would be a great step towards producing value-added products related to milkfish. What do you think of milkfish? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help us producing more of these videos. Till then, thank you for watching and see you next time.